We begin our flight to Culebra at Ceiba Airport with Air Flamenco. The Ceiba Airport is really small, uh, has uh, two airlines, uh, Vieques Airlink and Air Flamingo, and also there's an air taxi as well. Uh, this airport's small, but it has a lot of seats for waiting, and even in the other area, which is much cooler, uh, right next door uh, to wait, you can watch the planes come in and it's very spacious as well. Well, off we go to Culebra. The flight was beautiful. The water was a little rough, which is why we decided to not go on the ferry uh, and decided to take a plane. The plane fare was $98 round trip, $53 one way. And because it was rough that day, uh, it was worth it. So flying into Culebra, you can see the fringing reef, the coral reef just calling us. We were excited to do some snorkeling and exploring on Culebra Island. The island was quite mountainous and it was beautiful. At the Seva Airport, I picked up one of these maps of Culebra, which is definitely not to scale. You're going to have to pause the videos to see some of the ads that will help you uh, plan your trip to Culebra. We ended up going with the uh, Culebra UTV rentals, and there's a couple of pros and cons about that. If you get a UTV, you're not allowed on the very steep cliffs and they will charge you a $100 fine. I don't know if they have a GPS or what, but um, there's no discussion, they said. So uh, to get a taxi, you could do that and go to the beaches like Zoni Beach, but other areas that have the steep cliff and they listed in their agreement uh, where you cannot go. So weigh that out whether or not you wanna get a Jeep or a UTV. Our first stop was Flamenco Beach. We had to pay to get in. It was $5 per car plus $3 per person. Flamenco Beach was a little rough that day and I've been here before where it's flat, but it's still beautiful. And the colors of the water were just pretty as blues. The beaches are always clean and there wasn't a lot of people that day so it was really nice to just enjoy the beach by ourselves we walked to over to see the tank it's quite a distance but still you haven't been to flamenco beach until you take a picture of the tank there's also some eateries there that uh, serve just basically some fried chicken and tostadas but we had a pretty good meal. It was a little pricey. This was about $18 for us. We stopped at Tamarindo and went snorkeling and we had a really good time. And then we stopped off at another place, Come Venti, for fried empanadas. We stayed at a place called Mamacitas. This was a very nice place. It was downtown. Uh, very clean. We had a gorgeous balcony overlook view. The room was the perfect size. We had a microwave and a refrigerator. We even had a backdoor balcony, uh, which we could see the road and the rest of the town. And all the cute little colorful houses. This was Mamacita's. It had a very roomy uh, bathroom with hot water, which in some areas we had not had hot water. Uh, overall, it was a very clean, 
reasonable and ideal location to stop. But look at that view. Absolutely gorgeous. And then from our balcony, there's a restaurant below, but it was closed at the time, so we couldn't go to it. Yeah. Now, then we decided to go up the stairs and onto the roof, which was a great place to go at night where you could see the stars and the moon. But then you could see the scenery overlooking Culebra. There's a gas station below. That's the only gas station that's on the island. So plan your trip back in accordance to where the gas station is. Here's a cemetery in Culebra. And we finished the day with a beautiful sunset at Malones Beach. The sand flies were getting to us, so please bring some bug spray with you. Then we saw a little bit of wildlife uh, on our way back. There's a deer, and it was very curious about us. But uh, once we started up the UTV, it ran away. Here is the agreement for the UTV. Take a look at that on places where you can't go. And this is downtown. It's pretty simple. It's pretty quick. Everywhere in, in Calabria after a while, it's pretty easy to get to. And here is Heather's Pizza. Being though my name is Heather, that's my place right there. Heather's Pizza. So I made sure we locked up our UTV, even though we were told it was very safe. And it was very safe. Um, very clean, too. These ladies are out sweeping every morning and they keep the streets of Calabria nice mm -hmm. and clean. The clean then we went to maloney's beach just look at that view and we did a little snorkeling there and i would recommend to always get a local guide to show you where all the good places are Otherwise, you may be going in the wrong place. Here's our guy, Lamel. Give him a call. He also helps in preserving the corals of Culebra. This again is Maloney's Beach on the other side. just won my heart over absolutely loved it um, here are a few hotels that you can stay in if you love to party and hear loud music this is the place right here this area is right next to mamacitas and uh, it's kind of quiet but you can still hear the music at three in the morning um, from the kokomo if you want to, instead of flying, you can take the ferry. So this is the road and the area that the ferry loads. See where the cars come in. And then you can wait. If, if you're going to ride the ferry without the car, you can wait in the shaded areas, which is always a good plus. Here's the dive shop that's right next to the ferry that you can inquire about uh, diving. And so we're flying out of uh, Calebra Airport. The f
you look closely, um, you'll be able to see some of the outer islands. You can see Kuberlita Lighthouse, and in the background you can also see St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. We saw Vieques going out. And just a beautiful view of the water. The water was nice and flat that day. You can see the outer islands of Puerto Rico. We're flying in. You can see the wetland. Oh, hey, here's the pier where the ferry leaves from on Roosevelt Roads. The pilot did a great job coming in for a landing. You barely felt the landing gear touch the runway. And here's our airport. We're back at Seva. And I was greeted by a cute little friend who I made friends with yesterday who kept trying to get into my purse and go home with me. She was friendly with everybody. It's always nice to be greeted with love. What a sweetheart. She kept trying to jump into my bag. <laughs> well, I hope these tips have helped you plan your trip to Calebra, and I hope you have a great time. Thank you so much for watching Rick and Heather's adventure, and see you on our next adventure. Don't forget to like and subscribe.